Hey guys, Shane Klein come to you from Gym Review for You. Today we're in Springfield, Missouri. We're at a gym called Springfield Strength and Conditioning. I have no idea what this gym's all about. I'm not sure if you do, but hey guys, follow me. Let's check this place out together. Today we're in Springfield, Missouri, and I'm with Dylan. And Dylan, you're the owner of Springfield Strength and Conditioning. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, thank you for opening your doors, inviting us to come in, do a hey, gym God. tour. Um, I'm Dylan, I'm going to get down to ask you about your facility. Basically, first and most importantly, is are you open to the general public? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, how big a facility are you here? We're a 4,000 square foot facility. For, and that, as you can see behind us, yeah. it's open every 4, bit of, Every bit of 4,000 is, yeah, is the awesome. gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So do you have machines here? Yes. Most of our machines are primarily lower body. We don't have any upper body machines other than just like a cable system. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have free weights? Free weights. Cardio equipment? Yes, sir. Dumbbells? Yes. Okay, what's your heaviest dumbbell go to? 125 pounds. Okay, now a little bit about your facility. Uh, do you have like locker rooms, showers, drinking fountains, anything like that? Like no locker rooms or showers. Uh, we have one bathroom, one okay. water fountain. Okay. Yep. Do you sell supplements, you know, pre-workouts, anything like that? Yes. Yeah, we sell our primary supplement brand is PR Breaker. Okay. We carry pre-workout pro and protein powder from them. And then we have a vending machine just full of a variety of energy drinks. Okay, so yeah. someone's doing drop-in and they can get drinks here. For sure. Free workout yep. stuff. Like, yep. What about like you know, personal training? Do you offer that? Classes, anything? What do you? Yes, we we function largely with one-on-one -on -one training. We have small groups of athletic development. Uh, we have a weightlifting club, and then we have some small group adult classes that we do for kind of strength and conditioning for the okay. general population. Okay. Do you consider Springfield Strength and Conditioning, do you guys cater to one specific type of lift? Or like, are you say, a powerlifting gym or a crossfit gym or yeah. like no I'd, I'd say we're more like a multifunctional gym multi we've got a yeah. we've got a batch of about any population you can think of nice yeah. nice okay wait dylan feel my man i'd love to do a tour of gym hey man i'd love to do it for you awesome let's do it here it is huh yeah this is this is this, it so I love, this is awesome like i said if you've got a caffeine problem we're here to support it we've got all the energy drinks you need we got protein shakes down at the bottom too we've got kind of your 20 25 gram range and then we have the the 40 plus range um, right now, we're low on our merchandise inventory. We're kind of discounting it all, getting rid of it for a whole new batch that we're going to so set up. This is your merch store, huh? D yeah, temporarily, cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. kind of organize it for people. Uh, supplements right here, like I said, we got PR Breaker. We're kind of uh, experimenting with Swolverine, see how that goes over, but this PR Breaker has been a big hit ever since we've opened. Um, and so yeah, we'll take you into the main area here. When you first walk in, the bathroom's to your right. It's just a single stall bathroom, no showers or anything. Um, for all your gym bags and storage, we've got shelves and hangers, cubbies over here. Our water fountain's off to the right here as well. Now, um, Dylan, something, I'm sorry for interrupting, but yeah, something I forgot to ask you is, you know, if I'm a drop-in day pass user, mm -hmm. um, is there anything in your gym that's off limits to a daily user? Nope. So if I, I pay my money, no, we treat in. you like you're one of ours. Uh, you come on in and you take over. The place is yours too. Okay, because yeah. some some gems, you know, they're like, ah, oh, you know, this is offset. So I yeah, I like to ask. Oh that. no, no, we, we want to welcome you full when you come on in. That's here. sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so. so yeah, when you first walk into this, we'll turn around and we'll see we've got eight robe power racks right here. Each of these racks have two stations in them where you can have somebody working on the inside, somebody on the outside. So we don't have too much trouble getting, you know traffic jammed with like guys trying to squat and all that um, every one of these racks will have a landmine every one will have a dip bar access to chains so you shouldn't have to go all over the place to find a landmine That's or a nice. dip bar or something we try to make everything its own little home right here that you don't have to go far um, on the racks we've got the multi-grip pull-up bars that you can use um, let's see We'll take a look right here before we pass it. We've got a, oh, yeah. this is the Squat Max belt squat for guys that are looking for a belt squat. Uh, we're big fans of this type over the, uh, the lever based type uh, belt squats. Um, so if you're looking for extra squat volume without more spinal loading, we've got that right here for you. Um, so we'll take a walk this way. Over here in the center, we've got our dumbbell rack, we go from 5 to 125. We've also got tons of specialty bars. So we have your safety squat bars, buffalo bars, power bars. You got your hybrid bars for like your crossfitters and weightlifters. Um, trap bars, 
I mean, you Cambridge bar back there, you name it, we've got the barbell you're looking for. Um, we've got four adjustable incline benches and then a competition flat bench as well as a decline. So we've got plenty of bench options for you. Okay. Um, we've got this Atlantis belt squat or leg press. Um, if you're not real familiar with Atlantis equipment, it is bar none, some of the top notch machinery you can get. So it's a super smooth ride here. Um, we'll kind of venture this way. We've got some of our attachments for our, our pull down system right here. I'll get you into more of them, but if you're looking for attachments, they're right here in the center. Um, we've got preacher curl bench, and then back here, kind of tucked away, we've got a tibialis machine. So you don't see those too often in gyms, yeah, but um, you know, we work with a lot of athletes and stuff, so we're wanting to... Everyone works on their calves, but yeah. a lot of people don't work on the front. That's right, so we got to so, kind of yeah. balance that out. So we've got a tibialis machine That's... here for you. Um, and honestly, you know, like I was telling you off camera, we've done probably close to 100 gyms or so, mm -hmm. and I don't think I've ever seen a gym yeah. with one of those. Yeah, most people so. probably haven't trained it in their whole life. Yes, yeah. Um, and so we try to work them in every few training cycles that's, with people. That's good. That's yeah. a nice piece of equipment. Uh, right here we got a lying leg curl machine, pretty straightforward. Um, we've got a few of these single leg squat stands floating around just for that way people can do their single leg squats like the Bulgarian split squats and stuff without having to like prop up on a bench. And you got guys that are different heights. All benches are about the same so we can actually kind of modify for shorter and taller people here too. Well, and those are nice too because it has a pad that will roll mm -hmm. so it just that yeah, foot. Yeah, much more so, natural for yes, you that way. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Um, as we're going to float on back here. Again, we got more Atlantis machinery here. Um, this is an eight station cable system. So we've got two pull downs on this back side. We've got tricep station here. We've got three adjustable pulleys, two on the inside here, and then we got one on the outside. So you shouldn't have any issue trying to like find a, a station yeah. to, to get yeah. some cable work done. On the back side here, we've got your seated cable row. And then we've got an inclined cable row. You don't see a whole lot of these either. But essentially what you're doing is you're having a seat, propping your feet up and rowing from here. It allows you to kind of leverage. You can actually load a little bit more and move a little bit heavier weight than you would on just this flat uh, cable station. Um, and I even asked you, I mean, yeah. you have a full range of kettlebells and everything. Yeah, tons, yeah. So that's, yeah. Um, so the kettlebells, we go from nine pounds up to a hundred and everything is a pair. So you can work with two at a time. It's not just one of each weight. We've got a full set of kettlebells. Along the back here, because we're a USA weightlifting gym and we have a weightlifting club, we've got three Olympic weightlifting platforms. And we've got competition plates, competition barbells, competition collars. Anything you need to do for your weightlifting needs, we've got them back here. And there's also two additional squat stands. So let's say all eight of those other squat racks are taken. We still have two more back here. So we have as many as 10 squat stations wow. at once. So that's plenty to work with. Um, then we have jerk blocks in the back if you needed to do like pulling work for your deadlifts or jerk work for your you know split jerks power jerks and whatnot um here in the back corner is kind of our little fun area we've got a, just a variety of stuff uh fun. we've got medicine balls fun. yeah fun. <laughs> yeah um we got medicine balls for doing like plyometric work and power work we have our slam balls we have wall balls for guys who like to do wall balls um, we've had heavy medicine balls that actually go up to 150 if you want to do some sort of like wow. med ball over shoulder or carries or something. Um, we've got the tank sleds. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Have you seen those yet? Yeah. They're kind of getting more popular now. Yeah. Um, so these are great. You can just adjust the resistance on them. You don't have to take the weight on or off. You just change the gear. It'll be like, one's like pushing a wagon and one's like trying to push a wagon through sand. I mean, it's just okay. harder and easier. Yeah. Um, Back here, we've got battle ropes. You can hook on here for doing your battle rope work. If you want oh, to do okay. some sled drags yeah. and sled pulls, you can do it. We have sandbags, and then we have sleds with harnesses that you can do like sprint work on. You can also do, I mean, any sort of loaded drag or whatever you want to do. We actually let people take stuff out into the parking lot. Okay. So like if you were dropping in and it was, you know, you want the garage doors open or you wanted to open up, and you could take some of this stuff outside and, you know, get a breath of fresh air, drag a little further, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. And as we pulled up, I saw a bunch of guys that had stuff set up outside, yep. working on agility stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I want to comment too on how, I mean, the video isn't going to do this justice about how long your green space is here. Yep. Oh yeah. I mean, so yeah, you we've have got about nice... 80 foot of turf right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, 
it's deceiving until you actually get over here. And yeah, we, we try to make that a priority since we work with a lot of athletes. Somewhere we can get over here and run around and just work on change of direction and stuff. Yeah. Um, right here we have slide boards. Um, so oh, these okay. are like the hockey slide boards you see where guys get on there and they work side to side. So we use it for that kind of lateral conditioning, but you can also do core work, leg work, hamstrings, lunges, things and like that. And that's good for rehab too. Need Great rehab. for rehab. Yeah, yeah we do it. We get a lot of people that it, it'll help with like their adductors and things. So. Mm -hmm. it's, Great piece, that, and you don't see a ton of those in gyms, I, but you're absolutely they right. are, I've never seen them in gyms. And they're way more versatile than they would just look. If you just look at them, you can't immediately picture the variety of stuff you can do with it, but we could show you all kinds of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got plyometric boxes. We have the wood ones tucked away, but then we also have the foam ones. Uh, most of our folks, we kind of stick with the foam, just you know, save some shins, shins you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We've got a 45 degree hip extension right here. We've got a reverse hyper for some of your, you know, hip and lower back work. Uh, we've got two glute ham developers here. And then we start to get into our cardio equipment. We don't have a ton, but the ones we do are big bang for your buck uh, pieces. So we have two of the Rogue Echo bikes, two Concept 2 rowers. We have a true form runner. This is a self-propelled um, treadmill. It's not motorized. It's like a hamster wheel. You get what you put into it out here. And then behind you, we have two ski ergs for some additional cardio, something that's a little different than most people are probably used to as well if yeah. you haven't been on yeah. one. Um, we have two pull-up bars over here that kind of gives you a station to do pull-up work and like ring suspension training work where you don't have to jump up on these rigs back here. If it's kind of busy, you can come over here and spread out, okay? And then we have a climbing rope if you're into climbing ropes and stuff. Um, Gets a little bit of use. Yeah. You know, yeah. Not a ton. And those skiers, I tell you what, they look so easy. Yeah. Until you're on them for about two yeah. minutes. Yeah, and you would think that it'd be like all upper body and it's not. Yeah. It'll start to sink into your hips and glutes a little bit. Yep. You start to feel it in the lats. It's uh it's it's a great movement once you figure out what you're doing there. Yep. Okay. Um, so you got the tire and you got the roller. Yeah, we got tire and sledgehammers you can use. A variety of bands. We've got all your soft tissue modality type equipment here for kind of your warm ups or cool downs or anything you're needing to do. Um, since we work with athletes, we have this vertex that we can use for doing vertical jumps. We have hurdles for hurdle work. You can see out here we've actually got a class going, so he had a station going with the uh, athletes right before they got inside the gym to do some of their strength work. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, that is, you know, strength or strength and conditioning. Awesome, man. Yeah. So hey Dylan, if someone's in the Springfield area and whether they're visiting or even locals looking to, for a gym to maybe switch your membership over mm -hmm. to, what sets Springfield strength and conditioning apart from every other gym in the area? Uh, we are different in that when you come in, even if you're from out of town, like we still take you in like you're one of ours. Um, if you were to walk around the gym, even if you go back and look when we walk through, you're going to find very few people that come in with headsets on. Like everybody wants to shake hands, they want to get to know you. Nobody's here to shut the world off from each other. There, it's kind of a community, so it's hard to find that in like a 24-hour gym. But I'd say like we probably knock it out of the ballpark with combining a 24-hour facility with that community. So we just finished our gym tour of Springfield Strength and Conditioning. You know, it's 4,000 square feet, but like he says. Every foot is open gym space for everyone. This gym has everything. The thing I love most is how wide that green space is, the turf, you know, they got the uh, tanks to pull and drag and push and everything. You know, everything you need in a gym is gonna be right here. They have a huge parking lot that they use to their advantage to set up stations out here and work. Guys, if you're in a Springfield area and you're looking for a gym to either visit or the locals, you're looking for a new gym, maybe switch your membership over to, Springfield Strength and Conditioning may be the gym for you. Guys, make sure you hit that bell notification, subscribe button so you're always the first one to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also, don't forget about the TikTok channel. Till next time, guys.